I just take a second to say, holy shit, Alex, we did it. I mean, can you believe it? Oh. <laughs> Julia, leave it. You don't have to take your gear off to get in there. Not worth it. That pipe's pretty tight. What if you get stuck without your rebreather? Maybe it is kind of dangerous. Bullet holes all down the fuselage. Brad's gonna flip when he sees this. Check it out. They reconfigured the bomb rack to hold lifeboats. Interesting. One of the rescue boats is missing. Think they were using it? Let's see what else we can find. Good God. Goners. Uh, you hear that? Let's check it out. Wanna go first? Not high on my list of ways to perish. Easy now. This stuff's been down here a long time. Yeah, yeah, yeah.
a gray reef shark. Not interested in us. Let's go. Hold on. Uh, oh, okay. I thought this was the right time, but then didn't know if it was the right time. But I guess no time's the right time. I, I, I don't... I guess. Oh. I know you can't tell, because we're underwater, but I'm on my knees right now. Uh-huh. Julia, will you marry me? I... I... Oh, crap. I, Alex, I'm, I'm sorry. I, I mean, I, I... I just... I mean, we almost just died. Julia, I'm serious. Alex, wow. What a goddamn story. How's it end? Yes! Yes! I'll marry the shit out of you! <laughs> Alright, handsome hero. You wanna get on with our escape from the, uh, crumbling death trap? Fliss, this is Julia. We're coming back up. Over. Where did the boat come from? Wait, Julia, we gotta decompress here. Whoa! Damn! What the fuck? We gotta get up there. Wait, we have to decompress. Damn it. Yeah, okay. Decompress, right. I'm going. Hey, what the hell is going on? Uh, hey, JJ, don't worry about it. There was a little, uh, mishap with the barbecue. Jesus, looked like the whole boat was lit up. What's up with that other boat? These fishing guys came by and ran into the dive line. Whatever. Who cares, right? What I want to know is, what'd you guys find? Well, we found the plane, and it is huge, full of cool stuff. Oh my god, you guys, can you all just shut up for like one second? <laughs> Holy shit! Dude, bro, congrats! Nicely done. Come up and let's celebrate. You're getting to know these intrepid adventurers then. Alex and his little brother Brad, trying to swim with the big fish, both seem out of their depth. And Julia, the love of Alex's life, and he the love of hers. What about Conrad, a bold fellow, you might say? Or maybe you'd say arrogant. And then there's Captain Fliss, strong, Forthright, stubborn. She appears somewhat immune to Conrad's charms, so far at least. Let me reassure you, you help them to make some decisions they'll value later on. And some I think they may regret. So, we're like 10 seconds out of the jaws of certain death. Well, certain, I mean, that's relative. And this meatball... Meatball? This meatball pulls a ring out of God knows where. Yeah, where did you hide the ring? A lady never tells. Oh, well, needless to say, this lady was impressed. <laughs> well played there, man, no? Wasn't Comrade gonna get us some more beers after he helped Fliss? Maybe he decided, hey, I'll drink some, and then he got drunk. And since he was drunk, he forgot to bring it to us. 
and he just kept on drinking, and he drank all of it. Uh, sounds like you've had some experience with this kind of phenomenon. Yeah, I've been studying it for years. I'll go look for him. Oh, we found a bullet lodged in the plane. Huh. I left it below deck if you want to check it out. So, how does it feel to soon be known as the Mrs. Julia Smith? Honestly, I wasn't sure how it would feel, but now that I hear it, it does have a nice ring. So, I guess we should talk about wedding plans, eventually. Now you're speaking my language. I'm taking lessons. Yeah, I can't wait for us to plan everything together. I was so worried you might say no. Of course I was gonna say yes, you dimwit. I'm happy you did. The second you said yes, I could see our whole future rolling out ahead of us. I love you, Alex. Where did everyone go? There was much celebration to be had. I'll go find them. You just relax. Hey, you seen my brother? Or Fliss? Uh, no, I uh, got distracted. Let's go get him. Sure. So, which one is, uh, you know, where the magic happens? On behalf of my family, I'd like to apologize for my brother acting like a horny fifth grader. Ah, uh, it's okay. I can deal with children. Conrad, beers, where are they? Oh, yeah, the beers. I was just getting them now. Now that everybody's here, let's take a look at the navigator's pad we found. Maybe we can figure out why the plane was out here. Where'd you put it? It's in your case. Okay, I'll go get it. Hey. So, how's it feel to be a man post-proposal? Believing, honestly. Been carrying that around for a while. Why'd you do it on the dime? I wanted it to be memorable. It's not that memorable. I have to hand it to you. Bumping the question on the bottom of the ocean like that is pretty romantic. I never thought you were the settling type. I'm proud of you, bro. I couldn't have done it without such a good bro. 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 Wait, what do you mean? You told me to follow my heart. Uh, one, I'm not that sappy. And two, I was talking about med school. Still, we're over the top, bro. So, we're going again tomorrow? Uh, yeah. It seemed a little too dangerous for my blood. Don't sweat it. I'll go down with you and we'll be fine. Uh, I'm gonna go find Julia. Hey, almost time for barbecuing. Got the pad yet? Oh, no, not yet. I got distracted. Got it. Let's go up. Come here, Vixen. Easy, Tiger. We should get back. Right here. Hey, well there, sailor. Um, excuse me? Careful. If you did decompress too fast, then you should go easy on the beer. Uh, Alex, I'm fine. I think if I got the bends, I would know by now. Not always. Sometimes the bends can be super delayed. It could be hours or a day or two. The bends? Yeah, it's uh, when you come up from a dive too fast. Oh, 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 yeah, uh, uh, decompression sickness. <laughs> Nerd. Little nitrogen bubbles that get stuck in your bloodstream. Hurts like a bitch. It's really serious. 
Divers get sick and die from decompression sickness every year. And that is why the good Dr. Conrad says drink them if you got them, because either you're fine or you're going to want a little something to ease the pain. Julia, I'm telling you not to drink any alcohol right now. Oh, come on. Telling you? Take orders from this guy? Just drink a beer. Beer o'clock. All right, everyone. Check it out. Manchurian gold. Who wants to find some sunken treasure? So what do you think, Captain? Coordinates? Those are coordinates, all right. Maybe the plane's destination? You think we could get there by tomorrow? It takes a couple hours if the weather stays steady. Wow. You find anything else? This plane must have been shot down because it was riddled with bullet holes. I found one lodged in the fuselage. Huh. And it was full of life rafts. Must have gotten shot down before they could deliver all the rafts. There was only one missing. Reckless. All of you. Excuse me? I told you to leave everything down there alone. Oh, come on. We've been through this already. I'm not talking about the law. No, hey. They were respectful. No, you did whatever you wanted. Whatever you took, it was too much. You're right. We should have been more careful. That's not me, I'm sorry. OK, maybe. I don't know you. You should have never gone down to that plane in the first place. It's bad luck. You think you can scavenge down there and it makes no difference, but every single thing you bring back has an essence. It's like a ghost you invite to the surface. Here we go. Huh. I never thought about it like that. You never think about much of anything. Well, maybe I never heard about such cool ghost stories. They're not cool ghost stories. Not like for fun. People drown in these waters and you have to respect their resting place. Damn straight. Brad, you got a fun ghost story, right? Y yeah, I heard a story. It happened right around here, too. Let's hear it. We could all use a good show. I don't know if Brad is really the scary type, you know? Well, don't get too confident. This is a pretty scary story. Scare away, little bro. OK, here goes. This story is true. It had happened right near here, in an old lighthouse. Classic setup. Wait, true story? Where'd you hear this? Ah, well. Down by the dockside, I found an ancient old man, skin like a leather book, eye patch, wooden leg, the whole nine yards. And for a dollar, he told me his secrets. Seems legit. The lighthouse stood atop an atoll, isolated from the rest of the world, a lone beacon in the night, a sailor's respite. The lighthouse keeper would hear the waves pounding the rocky shore. One misty morning, he comes upon a woman covered in blood. She's stumbling down the beach. He hurries to her aid, and she falls into his arms, sobbing. As he hurries her back to the lighthouse, he asks where she's from. He doesn't waste any time. Smooth. He of the one-track mind. The woman answers, I live here, in the lighthouse. My parents are upstairs right now. Twist. Of course, the lighthouse keeper says, that isn't so. Of course, he's lived there alone for years. And the woman becomes hysterical and his sister parents are upstairs. So, they go to the top of the lighthouse, and there, splayed down on the floor, is a man and a woman brutally murdered with an ax. Always an ax? I mean, do people even use axes anymore? I'm just reporting the facts, cliches and all. Chopped up into little tiny giblets with an ax. You know, sometimes you have to embellish the facts a little to get at the deeper truth. It's OK. OK, so who did it? So the woman, uh, she's still hysterical, says her husband did it. And he's still here, in the closet. Ha, the husband, eh? <laughs> so is this a warning to all future brides? Hey, no backseas. You're locked in. So the lighthouse keeper creeps over to the closet, opens the door, and sure enough, there's a man inside but he's cut his own throat. Horrified, he looks closer to see the dead man's face in the dark. Closer, closer. And he sees it's his own face. And then its eyes bulge out and screams. Ah! <laughs> yeah, so ah, gross. Horrible. Hey, old. super twist. Nice. <laughs> nice one, Squire.
You have me going. Pretty cool. Heavy on the cheese there, corn dog. Okay, you've all had your fun. We should all turn in. There's some weather hitting our way. Uh-uh. No, no, no. No, because according to standard vessel regulation, we're all required one more beer before hitting the hay. What regulations are these? Uh, it's standard issue regulatory institutional protocol subdivision 1099. Uh-huh. <laughs> Where'd you read that? The internet. Oh, so you found a website that tells you to drink beer under every circumstance. I'm just following orders, man. <laughs> I'm into this website. <laughs> and poor good buddy. And I'm out. I think so. Any worse. The bad news is these are kind of maybe the fishermen I pissed off earlier. Oh, god damn it, Conrad. Great, just great. And the good news? Uh, I recognize them. How was that good news? I thought you were gonna ask the good news first. You're such an idiot, Jesus. Hey. Alex, what are they gonna do to us? I don't even wanna know. I wanna get out of here. I'm in a lot of danger. Oh. Oh. 
I'll be back for you later. Conrad! Nobody knows you're out here, little lady. You're all alone with us now. Let's make the most of it. You can go fuck yourself, you piece of shit. You're the little lady. my brother? No, I didn't. I hope he's all right. All right. Turn around. Don't let them see your hands. Once we get Julia back, maybe we could take them by surprise. Okay, they're coming. see what they want to do with us. Got a gun. Well, at least one of us can get on their boat. Get some help. If you can distract them, I can get on that boat. The dude with the gun won't even realize until I'm long gone. Seven seconds. 
I can get out through the window. We gotta break these off first. Too loud. They'll hear it. But we're gonna break them during the thunder. <sighs> Good call. I'll go through the window and get the boat. You guys distract them. Conrad, just stay focused and get to the boat. Okay, let's do it. Sit down. Over there. You, right here. Sit. Now. Arrêtez, bande de cons! C'est mon bateau! Stop! Ferme-la, ou je te mets mon poing dans la gueule! One of you is gonna tell me about this Manchurian goo. Guys, they travel in the same waters. She's the captain and they barely laid a hand on her? I bet you told them about the Manchurian gold. They're in cahoots. I can't believe what I'm hearing. I just lost everything I have and this is what you think? You're all in this together. This was a trap and you set us up. Yeah, so put a cork in it. Sit still, all of you. You, come with me. Find out how long the storm is gonna last. Will you try anything? Anything fishy? 
and there be consequences. Get it. Duke of Milan requesting weather update. Over. Duke, we read you. Everything okay? Over. Hey, uh, just requesting any information about this storm you can give us? It's a little bit hairy out here. Over. Big storm coming in from the east. Gotta hit you pretty hard, but should pass through your coordinates within an hour. You sound a little stressed, Duke. Please let me know if you need assistance. Stop used to a little weather freaking you out. <laughs> yeah. Uh, okay. A-OK -okay out here. We can handle a couple of puffs and drops of rain. Uh, thanks for the info. We'll see you for drinks back on shore in a couple of days. Looking after number one. Real smooth. Great leadership, Fliss. Anyone know about Brad? Is he hiding somewhere? I don't know where he is. We can't leave him down there. He could drown. We need to get him out of there. He's not safe. Brad, buddy, come out. Move. Dear, oh dear, you appear to have lost another one already. Some people should take greater care over the decisions that they make. <sighs> Kind-hearted creature I am, I'd like to offer you some forewarning of what's to come. Tempted? <laughs> okay then, we will turn to the Bard for inspiration. The Merchant of Venice, Act 2, Scene 7. The Prince of Morocco pulls a scroll from the eye of a skull and reads, All that glisters is not gold. Often have you heard that told. 
Anyway, now that you've reached a point of significant distress, I presume you're eager to get back to your story. But here's a thing. Everything may not be entirely as it seems. <sighs> Probably shouldn't have said that. with me. Floating death trap. Sign up for a trip to Creep Town.
Watson, il y a une porte ici. OK. All of you. Into the room. this fucking place. Well, whatever this ship is, we gotta start figuring out how to get the fuck off of it. So, what's the standard nautical protocol for being kidnapped and imprisoned on an abandoned hell ship? Well, technically, there are emergency procedures, but this is such an extreme case that... Oh, you were kidding. Now, I knew that. We can't just sit around. We need a plan. Let's get back to our boat, get the hell away from here, and never step foot off dry land again. How's that for a plan? I saw one of the goons take something out of the boat. Distributor cap makes the engine work. The Duke of Milan is a floating brick without it. We need to get it back. While those guys are out panning for Manchurian gold or whatever they think they're gonna find in this floating coffin, we gotta take advantage and look around for a way out of here. Fliss, I just wanted to say that um, I might have gotten things kind of wrong back there. Uh, excuse me? I may have kind of prematurely come to the conclusion that maybe, you know, you're working some kind of side deal with these guys or whatever. But I, I mean, obviously that's not true. They're being just as bad to you as they are to us. So, yeah. Allow me to translate. He's saying that he's sorry. Well, I... Hmm. Well, your apology is kinda accepted. Cool. Cool. This guy, Miller? That seemed pretty sp- Alex, I'm really scared. This is very strange. I really don't want to know what these guys are going to do with us. Il y a quelque chose qui cloche ici. 
Je sais pas, cet... cet endroit est bizarre. Pas ça. On devait seulement les voler, et là on se retrouve coincé sur ce ratio de merde qui pue la mort. Et on a des prisonniers Ça va trop loin, tout ça. Ton gueule Fermez-la, tous les deux. Je suis votre capitaine, et je vous ordonne d'obéir à mes ordres. They all left it behind. What do you think? I can't get it open. Over here. We could bust it open. Freedom. Yeah, this is the way out. You want me to just smash through this wall? Oh yeah, sure. Big man on campus. Someone should create a distraction. This is gonna be loud. Wait, wait. Maybe we should try. There's gotta be some stairs around here. 